Now, the next thing I would like us to do is for us to be able to initialize our airflow because now we have installed it. Let us initialize our airflow and then we can go to the UI, okay, to see what it is, okay. But first, let us check the version of our airflow just so I can show you how you check the version airflow version, okay. Airflow dash uh, airflow space version. If you click that, you can see we are on 2.7.3. Okay, very good. Now, if I want to initialize my airflow, all I need to do is to type in airflow standalone. I will paste it right here. Airflow standalone. Let's see what happens. So now this is initializing, creating the databases and all of that. Okay, let's give it some few seconds. And this is going to create for us a username and a password that we can use to connect to Airflow. You can see it says Airflow is ready. It gave us a username of admin and also it gave us this password. Okay, very good. Now, for us to go to the Airflow UI, we will come back to our EC2. Let us go back to our EC2 right here. I can I can just come to EC2, right click and open a new tab. I don't want to close this. Open a new tab. Okay, I can then go. Make sure you are in the region you want. You can see this is North Virginia. Because of that, I don't have any instances running because I don't have any instance running in north virginia so i will just come here and i will say us west now you can see in us west i have one instance running which is what we are doing right now so i can click this you can see this is the one instance that is running okay so now i can check this if i check this all i need to do is i want to copy this public ip address i will copy that click that and then i will paste that here Okay, now Airflow is going to run in port 8080. So I'll put a colon and then I'll put 8080. Okay, and I'll press enter. Okay, now something is going to happen right here. You, you, you're not going to see anything loading right here. Why is that? It is because we have not opened the 8080 port that where Airflow is going to be running. So I will go back to my EC2. Okay. Remember that you have it checked. Now go to security. Okay. And then if you go to security, let's come down to inbound rules. First of all, you can just come to security groups. Click this link. If I click this link, it comes to security groups. Then I will go to inbound rules. Make sure you are in this tab. Inbound rules. Okay. I will then say edit inbound rules. Okay. So I want to open that port. So I will say add rule. I will leave it at custom TCP. I would then say 8080 and then I would come right here. I will say anywhere IPv4. If you want, you can say my IP as well. Okay. So that means it's going to grab the IP of where your, your Wi-Fi is, right? And then you can connect. That means anybody that wants to use this needs to be in your in your uh in your IP. Okay. But in the case of this one, I will just use anywhere IPv4 that way uh you don't have to see my ip okay and then i will say save rules if i say save rules and i go back to that that uh tab where i wanted to open the ui see what happens you can see even without you refreshing it refreshed itself and then it's connected and that is because it's noticed that you have opened the port 880 for airflow to run okay so i will come right here remember that the username that airflow gave us was admin but we don't know the password so let's go and grab the password now you can just scroll back up to that to that place that it says airflow is ready okay take note that all these get commands and all of that that you are seeing right here these are just due to the interactions you're having with the ui so if you are as you are doing stuff right here you're going to be seeing things going on right here okay so just come right here copy this right click i will say copy don't do ctrl c if you do ctrl c it's going to kill this server okay just right click 
and just highlight right click and say copy okay then come right here and just right click and say paste or you can do a control v okay very good guys now you guys can see now we have our ui okay we have our ui and our ui shows the different DAGs that comes pre-configured or pre-installed when we when we installed our f you can see we have 48 DAGs. in your own case you might not see 48 DAGs. you might see 46 or 50 or something so it basically just depends on when you are executing this project as well right so you might be ex executing this project in the next one month or two months and airflow airflow team may have done some updates and that may have changed the number of DAGs that you are seeing right here but just take note that in my own case now i have 48 default DAGs right here okay so i'll leave this DAG right here okay but what we are going to be doing eventually is that we are going to be creating our own DAG okay so that means that by the time we create our own DAG we should then be able to see 49 DAGs right here 49 DAGs okay very good guys now we have been able to install all our dependencies okay and we have been able to also install our apache airflow now also we have been able to configure our aws okay also we have been able to to launch the airflow ui very good guys 